Hi, what I want to show you today is one of my games that I recently published and it's called Flutter and it's a logic based game uh, and it's one of those flooding type games I don't know, have you ever heard of those? and to be honest, I didn't <laughs> I never actually played one, I never heard for such games uh, well, not until I saw this um, this is a flooded uh, game uh, made by Feco uh, and it was game uh, made for basic online contest um, so he developed this game on uh, Enterprise 128 uh, machine uh, using that uh, basic um, and it's a um, very interesting um, game indeed and uh, let me show you how, how that game looks like so let me just switch here so this is his code um, keep in mind that this is for the liner contest so it's really shrink um, but uh, yeah let's let's just run it and I will explain the concept of the game uh, during the while we watch this um, um, so first it generates these tiles with different colors and then um, the point is uh, to uh, color the uh, whole area in the same color. So the way to do this is uh, you start in, in the top left corner. So this first tile, uh, which is at the moment light blue, um, you start from there. And you choose the color of your neighboring tiles and that's, that's how you spread the flood, right? So, um, let's see, uh, here, oh, I didn't play this. Okay, so let's see if he select the blue, so if he spreads this area affected. So, it's very simple, you just select the color of your neighboring cell and that's, that's how you spread that flood. And it looks pretty pretty easy to make um, and the whole difficulty of this game is you have to uh, fill the entire area in the same color um, in 25 uh, moves or less so and this could be very very challenging because uh, you have so many different uh, tiles and so many different colors it's not very easy uh, as it as, as it looks like in the beginning um, so I never <coughs> heard of such a game so this was kind of mystery to me so I started to investigate a little bit so I did find um, there is a flooded version um, game uh, for Commodore Plus 4 uh, made several years ago so maybe you can check that as well um, also, there is plenty of, uh, on uh, versions on other platforms. There is also online version if you want to play, um, <clears throat> which works beautifully. Um, but also, there is something more than just this game. So what I found next is like um, math papers um, talking about the complexity of the game, the, the way how to. Uh, what's the quick, quickest way how to solve that uh, type of puzzles um, certain algorithms we can use you know all sort of things so it's a bit more scientific <laughs> if you go a little bit deeper into this topic it's really fascinating uh, not just game but whole concept algorithms and other stuff related to this type of games so yeah um, but we are not going to do anything scientific today so what it's saturday so yeah i think that we will just play the game um okay so you get the concept so <clears throat> let me show you my version of the game uh, it was really challenging to make it uh, in basic and i'll explain uh, why in just a second let's 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 start the game i didn't load the game yeah Oh my god, uh, so, uh, so let's load the game and then we run it, yeah. Okay, so um, this is like intro screen and uh, it's a little bit of description of what, what it's all about. 
and then you have to choose between easy and hard mode um, the difference between those two is just the size of the tiles so in easy mode there are less tiles they're bigger but there are less uh, less of them uh, in hard mode the tiles are smaller and there is more of them of course so let's go with the easy one first <clears throat> so this is our game um, and in the beginning you start with uh, just four different colors in, inside that area um, and you have to flood it um, in the left corner is the color that you currently picked uh, and this um, value zero on the right side is the number of moves so yeah and you just choose the color by um, numbers as you can see here so it's uh, and we start in top left corner so at the moment we are in this purple color so we can go with um, light blue and now we have <clears throat> flood this area um, which is all light blue then we can choose let's say white okay now we have a bigger area affected and we can go now with um, light blue again so we are spreading and then I will pick probably red color or yeah, let's go with the red and then we will go with purple. So let's go with the red. <coughs> okay, and now let's choose purple. Now this should get a much bigger area now. And let's have touch the couplet. Yeah, so now we can go with. Um, uh, yes, we can go with light blue, and then we should go with uh, yeah, we're going to left with the purple. Yeah, let's go with white, and then red, and then uh, purple. Yes. <coughs> Yeah, and uh, for each level, as you progress through the levels, uh, each time you get one more color um, into this area. So now we have five colors, there is green color as well. And believe me, it's very difficult <laughs> to work with the nine colors. Uh, yeah. Let me break this game and show you the um, hard version. Okay, let's go with hard. So it's just... Uh, smaller tiles um, so as you can see the concept stays the same just small tiles um, okay let's go here with um, the mid color purple <coughs> then with white and then let's go with red let me just uh, make this area a bit bigger and then I will explain something okay let's go with four uh, that's purple and then um, I will go with red but just um, please notice how much time does it actually takes to perform that flooding process um, and there is a reason for that uh, so let me just um, break this code for the moment and let me show you once more um, that version from FECO. So let's just uh, observe how much time does it takes for his game to flood that area. You see? It's almost instantly. It's very fast. Uh, okay now where, where is the catch so the catch is right here if you take a look at the, his code and um, the version of basic that is, was used on this enterprise 128 machine uh, does have uh, built-in graphical commands so uh, what really happens here on line 7 is that it just 
sets the color that he wants to uh, be um, this area to be filled with um, he points the plot pointer at that area and it just paint so it just fill that area in selected color so that's already built in the basics so it's really fast and all problem solved looks fantastic we don't have that on Commodore 64 <laughs> yeah so that's our problem so to make this actually work uh, on Commodore 64 uh, is here I work with just Petsky characters so and I use the inverted space as my tile and I just um, color them uh, differently so that we have colors and uh, <clears throat> the way how this pro flooding process happens is that I need to scan each of these um, Petsky characters or this grid of tiles and um, try to see and check for the neighboring tiles are they the same color or not and if they are and then join them together into, into an array which defines that um, unique area and if they are not the same color then um, yeah, nothing to do with them uh, so it's a very complex process where can I show you that yes I will use Petsky editor just to explain just a little bit what's going on there uh, the concept <coughs> I will not go through the code, if you are interested to, for the code, um, I don't know, make a comment in the description of this video. And maybe I will make uh, the whole um, separate video just to explain the code, but for now I will just explain the concept. And also um, I will put down the, in the description the link for the game, uh, you can download it, it's in basic, you can see the code. Um, can do whatever you want with it so yeah enjoy <laughs> so <clears throat> let me explain here what's going on so let's say that this this black uh, border is our area right and we start in in um, this top um, left corner um, and then let's say that we have some um, other colors here and let's say that I choose um, yellow color to be next. Uh, so I'm going to flood it with the yellow. So what happens here is that <clears throat> I need to, I'm starting with this um, purple um, tile. I need to check all its neighbors to see uh, where can I spread. So, and the neighbors are just um, uh, left, right, top and bottom. Uh, we do not check the diagonal. Um, neighbors so just these four so for this first tile uh, we don't have that left and top neighbors they don't exist we just check that right and down um, and of course um, let's paint it in uh, yellow so whatever color the player choose we paint in that color and then we check <coughs> we check for the neighboring uh, tiles and if they are the same color, then we uh, join them in array, some sort of array. Um, we join them into the same uh, group, so we group them together. Now, when this process is done, so we check first tile, um, I only check two positions. But the process is not done, because um, now I have to check these new cells that I just accepted into my area I need to check for those as well because here I might have another yellow tile or maybe here so every time I add new tile into um, this united area um, then I have to check its neighbors too so that's really um, intense process and the way how you actually solve this process in the modern programming languages is very easy. You just use recursion and it's all done uh, very beautifully. 
um, so we don't have a recursion in Commodore 64 basic and the reason how I solve this is we keep repeating the process until there is no new tiles added to this array and then we are done and that's why it takes so long to make <coughs> to make this um, flooding process but there are methods to try to speed things a little bit up you know so let's say um, for example that we have our area uh, something like this okay uh, and there are certainly some tiles in this area now at this point that uh, already are um, deep into the area and uh, its neighbors are all all four of his, its neighbors uh, are also part of the, this area and we don't need to check them again so during the scans we don't need to rescan its neighbors anymore so <clears throat> Let me just use the white color to describe that. So certainly this uh, first one, we don't need to check it anymore because both of its neighbors are already part of this area. So it's pointless to check this tile again. So also goes for this tile, uh, this tile, this tile. So um, this tile also this, 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 this tile, um, this tile. So what we are left with is just this um, <coughs> tiles of the border that we need to recheck again. Um, the problem still is when we detect new, new, new tiles that are going to be accepted into this area, uh, we need to check their neighbors too. So again, the whole process of kind of recursion is expanding same method if we use uh, like assembly or C it would be much much faster but you know I want to do it in basic I want to see can I do it like in normal speed that it's actually playable and yeah it's playable <laughs> yes I can so yeah that's the, that's the, the, the concept of um, uh, fl planning process right so Let's go back to our game. What do we have? Oh, I broke the game. Okay, bloody hell. Let's start all over again. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and you will see that uh, during this um, gameplay, when you reach about level 3, 4, um, and some more um, it, it gets really really difficult and you really need to think a couple of steps ahead just to gain some efficiency um, in, in a flooding process right so yeah but it's fun uh, it's really challenging and it's really catchy uh, why did I choose this okay Okay, uh, let's go with um, white again, and then I will choose purple. Yeah, let's go with purple. Maybe red. Red. If I go with the red, yes. If I go with the red and then purple, it should be good. Okay, we clear big enough area. Let's go with um, white and then light blue. That's going to be okay. And then maybe. And I really do hope that you can see uh, that you can. I really do hope that you can hear the sound uh, effects because I implemented some sound. Yeah. <laughs> because why not? There's plenty of time during this flooding process to implement sound. Play the bloody music. Okay, um, where are we? Um, red, how about red? No. Purple? Yeah, still going to be left with that. 
I don't have much choice. Let's go with the right. <clears throat> uh, okay, how about purple? No, 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 no. Let's go with the white. Hmm. This. Ah, let's go with the purple. Who the fuck cares? Uh, We can do white now, and then we can do um, light blue, and still we are going to be, um, be, we have to deal with this purple, which is blocked by red. There's nothing we can do about that, so red, and then purple, yeah. Uh, okay. And you can notice that my flooding process doesn't happen from like, like in rest of those uh, versions that I show you. From top to bottom, uh, it happens the way how I um, chronologically how I accept the uh, tiles into this array because um, I could sort that array so to make it uh, you know beautiful, but that's just waste of time. Doesn't make any, any. No, maybe. I don't know. I didn't feel like I should do that. Okay, let's go with um, green. There's nothing else to do. Then red. Then green again. No, white. White, then green. White, and then green. Now we have green color as well. So we get, we get uh, additional color. Um, so how about red? No. Oh, let's go with light blue, and then we can go with white again. Yes, that's a good choice. And then we can go with the purple, and then the red. So how about that? <clears throat> yeah, purple and red. That's a good choice. And uh, now we can go with green or just first go with the light blue, then green. Oh. Okay, let's go with the light blue, then green. <clears throat> mm. Okay, uh, now we can go purple, now purple, white, we can do anything with white, purple again, I doesn't really matter, let's go with the, <clears throat> let's go with the purple, then white. So if I go with the light blue, I then can get rid of the red one next. So if I go with the light blue and the red, okay, it's two colors. Okay, now we are left with um, green, white, and single purple tile. Yeah, it doesn't really matter now. Let's go with the purple, then go with the green, and then go with the white. <coughs> Thank you. 
level cleared. Now we have blue color and we are on level 3. <coughs> so let's go with the um, With, 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 I'm not sure much choice. Light blue, then white, <clears throat> then uh, red, or mm, uh, blue. And then we can go with the red one. Okay, let's go with the red, and then we can go with the white or light blue now let's go with the white and then we can go with the green yes green is a good choice and then we can go with the white again uh, or no red if you choose no no let's go with the white and then we will do red yeah let's I didn't get much with red Mm. So if I get rid of the light blue, what will I get? Here we have blue, white blue. Okay, get rid of the white blue, at least part of it. This will open. Well, not much open. Still need to play. Uh, Purple or red? Red is the HP effective. Two tiles. Purple, three tiles. Green. Let's go with green. <clears throat> and as you can see, uh, we are at level three. Um, <laughs> I just spent ten moves, and not, I'm only hal halfway there. And it gets tricky. It gets really, really tricky. Blue. Red. Yes, you can go with red. Hmm. So, purple. If I deal with purple, what do I get? I will use the red ones. Okay, okay, uh, purple. Purple, let's go with purple and then go with... Um, green, what should I get with green? Nothing, blue, red. I mean, this is just... Um, okay, let's do with red, then we can go with... White, green, or blue, and then white. Let's go with blue and then go with white. Let's see what will get us. <clears throat> and I don't think I will turn this low. Light blue, purple, red, green. If I remove the green, light blue, what will get this? Light blue, light blue. Light blue will open the white and then red. Light blue and then red. Okay, light blue and then red. Well, let's see. <coughs> oh, this will be tight. <laughs> Uh, red, uh, red one. Mm. Okay, now I, I should be green. Or purple. Do I have open? Uh, pur yes, I can do purple, I can do green. Both of them are. Okay, let's go green and purple. Yeah. And I'm on move number 17. And now 18. Okay. Now 
Now it's easy. Uh, now we can go with the uh, uh, one, five, two, six. Yeah. So that's about 20, 22 moves. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's not good for level three. <laughs> Uh, but okay, uh, managed to solve the level. <coughs> and last and second move is blow. Yeah, level clear. Uh, yeah, let's go with the. Um, our white and green, what the hell, we cannot do anything here, green, then we can go with the red, and then green again, uh, and then with the yellow, no, <coughs> I'll go with the red and then yellow, yeah, that makes sense. Now we are open at green, red again. Let's go with the red again. <coughs> now we can do uh, blue. Yeah, blue makes sense. And this will open for red. Let's open red. This will open. Good, good, good. Oh, why did I press one? I press one instead of oh my god. Oh, it's, I want to play red. I wasted enough. I want move. Okay, never mind. Um, blue, green, yellow, um, purple. Let's let's do it. Purple. <coughs> And then we will do with light blue, I would guess. Light blue. Yes, light blue will be a good choice then. Then green. We can do yellow. But if we do green, then we can take all, almost all yellow, except for those. So if we do green and then yellow seven, we should be good. <coughs> yes, now yellow. Oh, that's blue. Okay. Um, <laughs> blue. We should do blue and then. Blue, that's six, and then white, that's one. Okay, let's go with that. <clears throat> okay, what do we have now? Light blue, we can deal with that. Uh, Everything else is closed. We have two purples, will not help us with anything. Yeah, it can it will help us with yellow. Mm. So light blue or yellow. Light blue will open both greens. Purple will open yellows. Red is closed. So let's let's re leave the red one uh, for the last color. <coughs> and let's open the Let's clear the light blue. This will open the green ones. So we'll do green and then we'll do purple. Never no, wait. Because this will open all the yellows. So we can do yellows as well. So, okay, now it's, it's really. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Everything is opened now, as I see it. So we can go yellow, 
purple, blue, six, and what do we have? Red two. Did I forget something? <coughs> Purple, I hope. Yeah, no. And then the red. Again, uh, 22 moves. <laughs> yeah, um, I, it gets really difficult. Yeah. Okay, level 5, and we have one more color, and that's the gray one. So, let's, what can we do here, light blue, then green, so 3 and then 5, and then we can do gray, okay, now we're in gray, we can do, <coughs> not green, yellow, so, Yellow will open uh, light blue and gray. Light blue will open more gray, so let's go with light blue and then gray. And this will open. This will open up with uh, yellow. And then yellow will open. Um, green, not so green, green, nothing. <coughs> Okay, yellow. And then, then we have a uh, light blue and then green. Um, um, what else can we do? Uh, green, this. Green. Ah, let's go with green. <coughs> Uh, then we could okay now we can go with red which makes sense uh, red and then we can go with uh, either white or gray again uh, this white is closed gray gray is better option because after gray we can go to white white and then white yeah that will give us a bit more Yes, 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 go. Come on, go. Okay, now we are, um, we can go yellow. And light blue will do nothing special. Let's go yellow. And after yellow we can do, let's say, I don't know what to do after yellow, but let's go with yellow for now. <clears throat> blue, maybe. Get rid of those blues, but the, the, the blue, opening the blue will not uh, do anything. I would go with the light blue, and this will open the that area in the turmoil, maybe gray. No, blue, blue will open that green area down there. Mm. <laughs> Let's go with the light gray and then we go with the <coughs> uh, maybe gray. Mm. Hmm. Oh, Let's go with the blue and then go with the green because then we can switch to purple, I hope. Yes. Green then purple will be a good choice. Purple will open, so I will not open anything. Uh, Gray, if I go to gray, um, let's go with purple. Mm. Mm, why 
white white will open but blue nothing yellow yellow is blocked down there uh, red one will open okay I will go with the red one and then with the gray yeah and then we will free that yellow in the left down corner uh, left bottom corner and then um, white also yeah okay now we can do white light blue is hidden <laughs> there but okay so the yellow is free blue is free uh, white is free so we can do white we can do yellow we can do blue and the light blue will be the last one so that's 23 moves bloody hell uh, <clears throat> So yeah, that's all that I have for you today and I hope that you enjoyed this little game uh, as much as I enjoy making it. <laughs> and yeah, um, until next time, goodbye.